Elizabeth, you looked so beautiful tonight. There's nothing in the world I could have imagined being better than the moment you walked in. I uh, can't wait to spend our forever together. Um, we've already been together six years, but this is just the beginning of our happily ever after. So thank you for everything. Micah, I can't believe we are finally married. Thank you for making all of my dreams come true. I can't wait to start our forever. I love you always and forever.
your husband. As you can see, that ring, you can hardly see it, it's a big, big, big ring. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a ring. It's, as you can see, the ring's without beginning and without end. So I believe this exchange of rings not only reminds us of an unending ending love for you and for each other, but also reflects the eternal love that God has for you. Grow deeper and stronger because of their love for you. For God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man separate. Micah, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs>
visited as a matron of honor. Liz and I instantly became best friends over 10 years ago. I never had a sister growing up, but I had Liz as my stand-in sister from day one. We've had the opportunity to stand next to each other through all the journeys of life, whether it was the 24-hour rule, the time we stole your dad's car to go to Starbucks, sharing homecoming dresses, graduating high school, starting our careers, and now standing beside each other as we married our best friends. Mike and Elizabeth, in many ways giving this speech is easy because there are so many special memories I can reflect on. Yet in another way, it's quite difficult because it's impossible to share a highlight reel of a lifetime of memories in just five minutes. The reality is all of us are gathered here today because one or both of you have made an indelible mark in our lives at some point. And we're absolutely thrilled to celebrate this monumental day with you. Micah, I love you. I'm so proud of you. Your smile is contagious. You have the most genuine spirit of any young man I've ever met. Being your dad has been easy because of your consistent respect and desire to please the Lord. But being your dad has also been fun. Uh, all your life you've kept us in stitches with your witty finger and your goofy phrases. If we weren't in suits, I'd love to clear the floor and demonstrate to everybody how to do Bucking Bronco in the middle of the floor every year soon. You know that when your children start dating early in high school, you don't really take it too serious because you know that most of the time, the high school years are full of hugs and heartbreaks. But Micah, when Elizabeth came into your life, their mother and I took it serious because we both knew that you had found someone very special. God never gave us a daughter, but if we could have written a wish list of what we wanted a daughter to be, little bit she would have filled the list. Like being on the edge of our seats cheering for a ball game, Christy and I were cheering for you and Mike at a man. Hoping you'd stay together. Most of the time when breakups come, you just talk it up to what might have been and just move on. But when you and Micah were apart for those few months, Christy and I felt like a big hole had been left at our hearts as well. But what is meant to be is meant to be. And here we are today. And we're so blessed that you walked back into Micah's life and ours as well. You're one of the most giving people I've ever met. And you're as beautiful inside as you are stunning on the outside. You are the one we prayed for when Michael was just a baby. And today, God answered our prayer. Thank you both for including me in this moment's occasion because in truth, today, Michael, I'm not the best man. You are. Mm -hmm. A little miss, you're the best woman for our best man. I love you both.